Welcome back everyone. A unique event in the Twin Cities supports widows and their children. June 23rd is International Widows Day. And here to tell us more is one of the event's organizers, Erin Hinty. Thanks so much for being here with us. Thanks for having me. No problem. The, the title is very catchy, Widows with Kiddos. Talk to us about that. You know, as a widow myself with three young kiddos, um, I have found it very healing to be able to connect with other young widows in the community, not only young widows, but those with kids. When our kids to come together, they create a bond that's just unbreakable. So as I was just, you know, just trying to think of ways in which we could get them together, um, I came up with the idea for the picnic um, as an opportunity to shed some light on, you know, the widow community, as well as, you know, lead widows who haven't been connected with other um, widows together to be able to find that connection, the healing, the community, an opportunity for our kids to really um, create those bonds that they don't have. Right, no matter how painful, sometimes life is the best teacher and experience, and I'm sure you all, when you come together, can share helpful te techniques to move forward. Yeah, absolutely. So this is really an opportunity not only to kind of share our stories with one another, but also find out what else is out there, like what's next? Mm -hmm. now, how do we keep moving forward each day? Sometimes it's so difficult just know how to know how to get through the day, the day, but to have the support and to know that there's wonderful organizations out there as well that are not only supporting this event, but supporting us each and every day as we walk this path is completely um, healing for all of us. And you say all of us, uh, you are not alone. Uh, we're going to recognize International Widows Day and surprisingly the stats are kind of growing. Yeah, what's a, a very shocking, a lot of people don't know is every day um, about 2,800 women are becoming widows. We just never know when it's gonna happen. But what we do know is there's others out there walking the same path as as we are, as I am, and I want to be able to use this event as a great opportunity um, to connect with those people, just, you know, to be able to have that community that continues to grow, to know that they're not alone, that we're all here together. All right, and how can people help? I know you've got the picnic coming up. How can people help in what we with your fundraising and International Widows yeah, Day? Yeah, absolutely. If there's any organizations that would love to, you know, donate giveaways for the event, um, we already have a great um, network of nonprofits that are supporting us. Widows Might, Children's Grief Connection, Brighter Days Grief Center. You have a picnic and, coming up? Yep, for the picnic, yes. All right, and that's on June 23rd. June 23rd, Thank yes. you so much for being here and sharing your story with our viewers. <laughs> Again, that picnic is one week from Sunday, June 23rd, at Minnehaha Regional Park. Uh, there is a picnic shelter there as well. The event is happening from 4 to 7 p.m. They'll have food, games, crafts, and of course, great conversation. We'll put all of this information for you on our 11 a.m. show page. That's on care11.com. Still ahead, care at the movies, plus showers for dad, but it's no washout. Your weekend forecast is next.